What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new 2-in-1 WWE Elite figure review, and it is on the WWE Elite Greatest Hits Series 3 Rock as Scorpion King and Roddy Piper as John Nada figures. That was a lot, and I did that in the first take ever, so I can hoist my trophy. However, man, this is our second review of the Greatest Hits Series 3. We did take a look at Seth Rollins and R-Truth yesterday, so if you guys missed that, definitely go check that out. I wanted this to be up in the morning time, so I do apologize for the later upload the last couple days. Hopefully, we'll be back on our normal programming schedules, but since I've been sick with the flu, I do apologize for that, but if you guys want to grab these figures, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Always appreciate Ringside Collectibles for their partnership with us over here. I always adore them. However, man, taking a look at these. Now, I have multiple copies of this figure. Now, I wish I had multiple copies of the Greatest Hits version, because this does have the double-jointed arms. This has the additions, and the first go-around was not a bad figure whatsoever, but I would like the double-jointed arms over the no double jointed arms and then the scorpion king figure i've never even seen that figure the first go around so that would make a lot of sense as to why this figure is getting a greatest hits version also that andre the giant like bigfoot figure that elite never seen that not even looked at that i haven't seen that i don't know what that is i don't know what the hell's going on there so though those this figure i remember being shocked as hell to find this that's why when i found it i bought as many as i possibly could when i found it because i knew it would be hard to come by and then they do of course put it in the greatest hits line, which I get, but this figure right here is very nostalgic for me, man. This is like right up my alley. This reminds me of WWF Just Bring It. Like, this is all up in my my, I don't even know what the hell I'm trying to say here, but nobody knows what it's like to be a Scorpion King Rock. Even me, I don't even know what that's like, to be honest. But there's the packaging, man. You got Greatest Hits Rock right there. Scorpion King. I swear to God, that's the craziest CGI looking mother effer I've ever seen. Got Scorpion King Rock right there, and then Scorpion King uh, rest of the set. I mean, there's 700 figures in this wave, man. What are we doing, buddy? We also have Roddy Piper's John Nada. Very cool. And then you got, uh, of course, a shot of John Nada there. Very cool. Very cool Roddy Piper figures and the stuff on the side, man. But nonetheless, let's shut the hell up. Put these guys on the rotating base and find out if these figures are worth a damn. And I have a feeling they're going to be worth a pretty big damn. Alright guys, so here's the Scorpion King and John Nada out of the packaging, man, and I gotta be real, it's kinda weird because there's not a lot of accessories going on here, man. You don't really get a lot with either guy, but I mean, I guess that's just the way it crumbles, you know, especially with the Scorpion King because it's got so many unique things going on with it, like, uh, it's so many unique things. I mean, you're talking about a, I mean, I know this is a Greatest Hits figure, right, so they are just reusing all the parts from that original figure, but on that original figure, all, like, original stuff, I mean, like, these wrist gauntlets, these things on the bicep, like the bicep ties, the waist wrap, the leg mold, the boot mold, all of that stuff is completely unique, I'm pretty sure. Like, I don't think they reused a lot. Like, obviously this is the rock torso, this is the rock arms and shoulders, and this is a rock, like, this is the same head sculpt and whatnot, but pretty immaculate stuff going on with this guy. I mean, there's so many cool and unique things going on with it. I would love to, I don't know, like, if you could find multiples of this figure, like, playing around with it, I feel like you could make a really cool faction, like, have these guys as the background to, you know, a leading guy or something like that. I don't know, it'd be cool to see, or, I don't know, I'm just, like, kind of fantasy booking in my head, but, yeah, you really don't get a whole ton with the Rock figure, but uh, nonetheless, man, what we're going to do is t dive into the John Nada figure and accessories, and we'll run it back and take a closer look at the Scorpion King and his accessories, of course, but nonetheless, let's dive into it. Alright, so getting into the accessories you get with the John Nada figure, exactly what you got last time, pretty much, right? This cloth goods, though, is so good. I mean, we call it cloth goods. This is goods of cloth, man. Look at this right here. This plaid shirt right here, you get the faux pockets on there, you got the collar in there, it has the Velcro on the front, you could have it like undone in the front. It's got the rolled up sleeves right there. You know how many people wear this on TV? Like one guy that I especially think about is like Daniel Bryan or Brian Danielson would look really good in this shirt, but there's a hundred people you could put in this exact shirt, put it on a different figure and whatnot and fix up your different figures, man. What a great looking just plaid shirt in general. Just an awesome looking plaid shirt. I love it. I think it looks great. All the coloration and all the different things going on, but I love it. This is, I mean, they, when they say cloth goods, this is what you want to see. This is one of the better cloth goods that you'll find for sure. And then you have his sunglasses glasses right here which are also nice they kind of have like a transparent look to them like they're kind of see-through but they're really not but they are a black or a dark charcoal gray and they actually do fit the figure well so that's good so you can like there's little spots in the hair for you to like slide the glasses up in there so that is uh, good as they're clearly off center in his face you dumb moron but yeah there you go put it on there and look at that right there now he's looking good looking all kinds of good that looks pretty good i think that fits so as long as they fit the head well and look have good shape i mean what else do you want brad 
Brad. And then outside of that, he just has mic holding hands. You get mic holding hands, just standard world going around mic holding hands. And then of course, you do get interchangeable fists to beat the hell out of everybody, because that's what John Otter does. All right, so getting into the Roddy Piper head sculpt, I really don't like this, to be honest with you. I think you could have a lot more grace with it, if that makes sense. I just feel like it, I don't know, like it looks like old man Piper or something like that. I don't really, like it's not a bad head sculpt by any stretch, but it's definitely not my favorite head sculpt for Roddy Piper. I think it favors him, but I don't know, something about like the eyes, maybe. It just doesn't give off that like young looking like Roddy Piper-esque face or something like that. And also like the haircut's not the best, I feel like. I feel like it could have been done better. And the hair color even. It's a bit more like gingery than like the blondish brownish hair color that I would imagine. But not the worst of all time. I think it still works. But it does have the wife beater shirt on there or the tank top. The white tank top looks really good on there. All clean and dandy there. You got the double jointed arms, which is an update from the last time we saw this figure. So that's good. Got the nice Nice arm size in there. Then he does have these beautiful jeans on, which I really like. You got the brown belt. Then you have the dry brush jeans, which are always nice, man. Gives me a really 90s look to me. It looks really classic. I love this. Uh, I don't know. It just looks so good. The, the dry brush jeans and light jean color just looks so good to me. And then he does have like the brown shoes or boots in there, which look really good as well. And uh, I don't know what shoes he was wearing in that movie, but I don't know. These are like the standard wrestling boot feet, so it's nothing like too crazy, but I like this figure a lot. But I liked it originally. The original figure was really good, but he is on ball joints and, like, can actually pose around, like, really, really good. It's a very poseable figure, and it can get all the, all the like, stuff you need to get done. I think you're gonna, like, not have any issues with it. I think you could do it for fix-ups. I know a lot of people were using it for Shawn Michaels and stuff like that, but as far as figure comparisons are concerned with this John Nada figure, I mean, I really, I don't think, like, all of my John Nadas, like, the original version of this figure, pretty sure it's put up somewhere, and I haven't found it while I'm, like, reorganizing the office and getting it completely set up, which I have started, like, getting the shelves up and getting the figures up and like organizing everything. It's really coming together nicely which we will have a room tour on January 1st so hopefully that'll all be done but figure comparisons this is our greatest hit series 3 comparison so far and I don't know in the next video if I even I don't know if I'm going to review the last three in the wave and if I should just do a my damn thoughts episode maybe and like rank the set I don't know exactly what I want to do there but here's the John Nada Roddy Piper up next to the R-Truth and the Seth Rollins from this greatest hits wave so far and I don't know I'm enjoying this this line I guess. It's just an odd wave. It's such an odd wave. There's so many figures. It's an odd selection. Kind of random. Like, I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think, but it's very weird. It's a weird, like, scenario going on right now. So for the Scorpion King, you don't get jack shish. No, but seriously, though, like, I guess you could include these gauntlets, but they're removable gauntlets. They're not really accessories. Like, uh, I think which, I don't even know what arm these go on now. Damn. But one of these goes on the right arm, and one of them goes on the left arm, and these look really good. Like, you know, you got, like, the little hand cover and like some really unique sculpts going on. So all this looks good. You get the little strings in there, little studs with black and silver and the brown going on. Like very cool. Like these are very unique, you know, buy multiple and put them on different things. Maybe you could even turn that backwards. I don't know, but like these are really awesome. I think these are really cool. They fit the figure well. They do a lot of nice things for you. And again, these aren't necessarily accessories, but they are removable. So I guess like they technically are accessories, but they're part of the figure. And I, I guess I can knock this part out now, but these are little gauntlets that come on there like a Roman Reigns or something like that would have. So yeah, the little gauntlets are really awesome. I appreciate these a lot. And then outside of that, you literally only get like mic holding hands, which are nice and everything, but you get one pair of mic holding hands. And then what's kind of hilarious is they come with like the Just Bring It style hands, which is what this figure reminds me of. Just that era of Just Bring It, The Rock, you know, Scorpion King, all the different things. But it is the Ricochet Kawhi Leonard entrance handshaking style hands. And of course, the Just Bring It hands, which you could like put the hands on the hips, you could shake people's hands, you could bish slap people. So yeah, all kinds of usages for these hands. All right, so for the Scorpion King, I actually like this head sculpt a lot. I think you're getting a lot of likeness from a younger rock, especially with the hair and like, especially how he looked from that movie. And uh, let me know what you think about that movie. I think it was pretty, pretty solid. Like some laughable stuff though. I don't know. Maybe it's just nostalgia, but uh, I enjoyed it. I always enjoyed the movie for whatever reason, but you guys can let me know. Nonetheless, I do like this head sculpt. I like everything going on with it. Pissed off rock right here. Like even if you, I don't even know if you cut the hair off, sculpted it it, uh, sculpted on there. Well, I guess it would look like a, a bunch of other rocks, but I mean, look at that face, man. If you remove the hair, like that looks just like the rock, man. I don't care what you say. It looks just like him, so I think they did a really good job there. You have the standard rock torso, standard rock, like shoulders and arms that they
they use on its figures there, which look good. Really like the uh, the rope bicep bands right here, which are nice. I don't know if the, besides the the last time we saw this figure, I don't think these have come on any other figure. Same for these, uh, these gauntlets right here. He also has this unique waist wrap, which is really awesome. And again, I never owned that first figure, so uh, all this stuff is brand new to me. You get like, pockets and like different stuff on this, looking really good, stitched on there. And another thing that's weird is this is not like a standard rock crotch because this guy's on ball joints, which is crazy. I think he's on ball joints. Yeah, pretty sure he's on ball joints, and the rock figures are never on ball joints. So that is an interesting tale right there, I guess. Uh, but I guess maybe they used like an Elite 81 rock. I don't know. But uh, what the hell is that? Is there glue up in there? I don't know what's going on up there at the top. But all this stuff is unique. Stitching down the leg. This is all sculpted on. You get like the different brown colors and stuff like that. Like light brown, dark brown. You get the gold rings right there where the laces are supposed to come through. Unique sculpts all the way around, which look really, really clean, man. They did a just fantastic job on this. Double jointed knees. And then he does have these new uh, sculpted boots. They're not new, but these are unique to this figure, to the Scorpion King. I've never seen these before, but uh, got the laces going down. Then you have like the shin covers or the boot covers right there, which are nice. Tied around with more strings and whatnot. It's very unique, man. Very cool. And I don't know. I think they just did a really good job on this. And I think the unique thing about it too is that he just feels really good in the hand and poses around well. Like he's very buttery smooth. Like I'm not getting a bunch of that. You know when you get a brand new figure nowadays and it's real stiff, pinless joints and the arms, like you're afraid to bend the, you know, the bend the shoulder up like this because you're afraid it's going to snap or that it feels like it's going to warp the, the shoulder or whatever. Like all of this feels really clean and he can, you know, thigh cut, double jointed knee, boot rotation. You get a little ankle rock in there. It can go down and up. So I, I don't know. Like I'm just having a real fun time like posing this guy around. He feels really good in hand. And yeah, that's, that's really refreshing because I feel like most of the time, like don't get me wrong, there are rock figures that pose around better than others. But uh, a lot of the times the rock figures are not on ball joints. So he's very, I don't know. He's just, they're kind of difficult to move sometimes. But this rock figure is kind kicking all the asses right now. And then for your figure comparisons, here's the rest of the Greatest Hits series that we have reviewed so far. Again, I don't know what I'm going to do in the next video. Again, I, I didn't have the original figure of this. This is my first time even having this Scorpion King, so that's why it's really refreshing for me for this Scorpion King rock figure. But nonetheless, man, this is this is a crazy one. I don't know. If I had to rank these from worst to best out of these four only, I would probably go Seth dead last. I would go probably John Nada next to last, R-Truth in second place, and then Scorpion Scorpion King number one. I just, I, I love this Scorpion King figure. A lot of unique stuff going on with him. But I think that pretty much wraps up our two-in-one WWE Elite figure review on the Greatest Hits Series 3 Elite Scorpion King and John Nada figures, or Rock as Scorpion King and Roddy Piper as John Nada. But I like these figures, man. I liked them in their original counterparts. You know, I, I didn't have them to compare today, but I mean, they're virtually the same. You do get the double-jointed arm treatment. I want to say uh, uh, that original Rock figure had double-jointed arms. I could be wrong about that, though. They may not have, but nonetheless, it doesn't really matter. The original figures were great on their own right, and these are just upgrades. And I know a lot of people didn't even have opportunities to get these figures, which is a lot of what the Greatest Hits line is, right? I mean, that's what the whole intention behind the entire wave was and behind this entire line. So I know a lot of people are going to be excited to get their hands on these finally, and you can do so over Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. But I like these figures in their own right. I like uh, the way they look. You can you can customize that John Nada into a lot of people. I love the cloth goods. Even if you just get the figure for the body and the cloth goods, I feel like it's worth it alone. But, uh, you know, maybe you want to throw that John Nada Roddy Piper head sculpt on a regular Roddy Piper Elite or something like that. That's something you could also do, but... I enjoy these figures. I think they're great. I don't have any quarrels about it. Having this rock figure finally, this is one of those figures I never got my hands on. Again, very nostalgic for me. Love the head sculpt. Love all the unique tooling and stuff like that. Like, is it a necessary need? No. You know, but if you just like really cool action figures from WWE and Mattel, this is definitely one to grab if you're a big rock fan. Maybe you were a fan of the Scorpion King and they never made good figures. I want to say McFarland or somebody used to make really good Scorpion King figures or something like that. And I know Jax made one as well, but... This is really nice, and I, I like the figure a lot. It's a very great action figure in general. Moves around fantastic. Like, I, I love how it feels in the hand. It's one of those that actually poses around really nice. It's not stiff or anything, so that's another bonus of the figure, in my opinion. But I like these figures a lot, man. If you want to go grab them, go grab them at Ringside Collectibles. But that is going to pretty much wrap everything up for me here with this review. Huge shout-out to our patron members of the UMD to YouTube channel. Always appreciate those fellas for their continued support every single day. Love you guys, and appreciate all of you so very much for all of your support. But that is going to wrap the video up, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you next time.